Hey peeps, and welcome back to another episode here on Pixar. In the last episode, we went to the, the I, I keep trying to call the Dark Forest the Doomlands. I do that so much, but yes, we went to the Dark Forest, not the Doomlands, and we got a bunch of stuff. We got a Spectre Wolf, two female ghost dragons, and our Soul Reaper, who I have named Grim from uh, the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Let me know if you peeps remember that show. I used to love that. But yes, we did get two ghost dragons. Unfortunately, only this one is useful. This female right here is pretty garbage. Her stats are basically worse in every way except for the melee, but she only has two more points in melee, so 13 is still garbage. This one actually came out with 19 into health, 19 into stamina, so health and stamina are amazing, unfortunately at the cost of the weight and damage stats. So that's our goal today, peeps, is to go get another Quetzal, or not another Quetzal, go get a male ghost dragon with the great stats in hopefully both weight and damage. And I think that'll be our main flying mount for the rest of the series. We'll probably still use grape if we need to tame other magical creatures because the crossbow or uh, the ballista bow is actually insanely good at knocking out magical creatures with the magical ballistas. But before we do that, we actually need to make a new one because we're gonna have to fight a bunch of ghost dragons to clear up spawns for a high level male and they love to break the ballista. So I'm just gonna make another one as a spare for us to have for the inevitable moment where our ballista is broken. And I'll keep some stuff to repair this current ballista. All right, let's go and just not waste any time and head right over to the dark forest biome. Oh, well, looks like I was ahead of myself. We already have a ballista turret. Well, now we have two, I guess. <laughs> All right, I will see you peeps in a bit. We might as well check the dark forest that's right here next to base. It's a very small dark forest biome. Oh, uh, hello, Mohawk. Yeah, it's a very small dark forest, but you never know. It could spawn some high levels. Plus, if we find another Soul Reaper that's a high level, I would love to tame that today as well because you can't breed Soul Reapers. So if we ever lose Grim, that's kind of that. And I feel like having a little kind of tiny army of them to run into the dungeons with would be kind of great for us. So yeah. Soul Reapers, Ghost Dragons, and we're also still looking for a high-level male Spectre Wolf for our great female back there, who, yeah, also needs a good melee stat. All right, well, nothing is spawning over here, so I think I'm gonna go ahead, fly back to base, fly through the portal, and head over to the large Dark Forest biome, and I, I guess I'll bring you peeps back once we find something interesting. Oh gosh, that's my, that's the, that's the male that we tamed last episode. He's still here? But uh, yeah, this peeps, this ghost dragon right here, it's a 96 male. They're not amazing, but it's also got a pretty low uh, health stat, which could mean that those stats went into melee. It's circling something right now, okay? Uh, of course, we don't have fiber to repair this, so that's unfortunate. I kind of want to repair that before we try and tame this ghost dragon for obvious reasons. That would be really unfortunate if that broke while we were trying to tame. Ah, magic fiber. That probably won't work. Thankfully, there's... No, wait. We'll get magic fiber from the magical forest as well. That is unfortunate. All right. Hello, Soul Reaper. Level 70 Soul Reaper. Not bad, but not great. Let's go ahead and kill this. We'll get some normal fiber from... Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll get some normal fiber from the snow biome and then we'll come back and just trank out this male ghost dragon So I think this 96 is trying to go after that meat cube. That's right next to my Quetzal's foot But uh, it can't figure out That it needs to go lower, which is very interesting. All right. Do you have you do not wait? Do I have them? I Do all right 28 should be more than enough for Potentially two ghost dragons. I checked that one. That's a low-level female. All right, and there we go. Oh, gosh. All right, let me not whiff all of these. Oh, please don't run away. All right, there we go. And that might hit. Oh, gosh. All right, we're going to have to get closer. <laughs> um, I really hope this other ghost... Okay, this other ghost dragon shouldn't be an issue. All right, are you coming for me now? Yes, you are. All right, one hit. And that's two. Three. I don't remember how many this takes. Four. Five. I missed six and seven. You should be out soon. I missed again. Oh my gosh, can I please stop missing? These are kind of annoying to make. There we go. All right, this will be extremely lucky if this is a good ghost dragon right off the start. Oh, of course, 
All right, let's go get another piece of prime meat, and we'll be back. Hello. Are you a high level? You are a level 22. All righty, peeps. Prime meat has been obtained, but is this ghost dragon even worth taming? We got to check its melee first, because I don't want another garbage ghost dragon. So let's see. Please have great melee. Let's go. Let's just go down the list. Bad, bad, bad. Ooh, 270? So you know what? I'll say that's worth keeping. Two, uh, 17 points? Pretty good. I think I might actually be happy with that. And we might just go home and start the ghost dragon breeding now, because 17 is super respectable. So, yeah. Wow, we got... That literally, I think this was... Yep. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, this was one of the first ghost dragons that we saw. I think this was actually the second ghost dragon. So, that's just extremely fortunate for us today. Saves me a lot of time. All right, amazing. Let's go home, breed up the perfect ghost dragon, then we'll finally be able to ride a ghost dragon and we'll test it out. And then maybe we can try to come back, find another ghost reaper, or maybe we'll actually take her to the snow biome and try to get ourselves an ice elemental because I still do want one. I feel like the range abilities of the snow, or I guess just elemental spirit as it's called, but I don't know. Ice elemental is way, way more better of a description because it is all right peeps here we go hopefully these guys do just breed pretty easily and oh perfect all right ghost dragon male let's set you to mating and oh okay yep you're doing an emote let me let me get to the female and there we go please normal yes yes all right now let's see what stats we're combining oh unfortunately we don't have good weight dang it Oh, I would like to get better weight. That's a really low weight amount for a flyer. Oh, I'm kind of torn, peeps. Should we go back and look for a <laughs> look for a, a female or another? I guess a female or male with good weight stat. That could be a thing. In fact, that might have to be a thing because that weight is really bad. Uh, I mean, what what's your weight at least? Eh, Ten. Okay. Wow. So just equally guard. Excuse me, female. Yeah. Just. Okay, I guess that's 11. How much does this one have? You have bad weight as well. Nine. Okay, sweet. That, um... Dang it. <laughs> Alrighty, peeps. So, I just got back from the Magic Forest, and we just made a whole bunch of Magical Ballista Bolts, and I got another Pegasus Horn, which is awesome, because last episode, I was just talking... Oh, gosh, the fall damage. I was just talking about having a second Master Wand, so we could have one wand for damage and then one for you know healing and debuffing with the light and dark magic so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and just make a second magic uh master wand right here well what do we need for silver which i have and oh magic wood no i don't have magic wood i can excuse me can i please access it here we go i have four that's not enough all right well back to the magic forest i go i will see you peeps in a bit with a new Mastercraft wand. Or, I guess just Master Wand, not Mastercraft. I wish it was Mastercraft. That'd be kind of great. Oh, wow, peeps. Look at the ghost dragon egg. It's like an oval. <laughs> what? That's so cool to see, like, egg variety shapes. Usually, they're all just, at least in normal arc, they're all the same shape of egg, just different sizes and colors. But this is a straight-up oval. I kind of love it. I wish normal arc had egg shape variety that'd be really cool oh i guess uh now we just have to hope we get the perfect stats we're done why are you flying are you do you want to go on an adventure have i not used you in a while i i haven't used you in a while ever since we got goldilocks but listen now is not the time for an adventure we're done you are outdated you are not the the latest software this is and oh snap four two one egg and let's check the stats it's got good health, good stamina. Oh, the bad damage. No. Oh, but the good oxygen. Whatever would we do without good oxygen on our on our flying creature? <laughs> All right, peeps. I guess I'll bring you back once we actually finally manage to get the perfect egg. This might be our perfect stat, Wyvern. And yes, 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 and... Yes, I guess. But do we have the oxygen? We have the oxygen, peeps. All right, cool. And it's a male. All right, peeps. Comment below with name suggestions for our male ghost. Dude, this is actually kind of like a good screenshot picture. Hold on. Let me uh get the hands away. And boom. Wait, no. I want a better angle. And there we go. Oh, we got to get the tail. 
All right, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and imprint on this baby ghost dragon. Hopefully, we have everything it will potentially ask for. We have crops, we have some of the more random seeds. What's cool is that there's a bunch of just random foliage that you can get around the map that they'll sometimes ask for. I think that's really cool. Things that I could ask for is more in depth, which is, I guess, a blessing and also a curse because that would really suck if you're trying to breed something early game and you can't really go to everywhere on the map safely, but right now it's pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and get, oh, what the heck? Oh yeah, I forgot. It's, yep, there we go. And let's get you to the front yard. You can hang out next to Grim. I'm sure, Gr dude, actually, one of these guys riding a ghost dragon would be kind of awesome. That would be a little terrifying, to be honest. But speaking of Grim, I went ahead and leveled him up a bit off camera. Unfortunately, we can't heal him with meat, but they do get healed at least decently quickly by the light magic essence. And he is doing four, or, well, he's doing like almost 900 damage now. We've put 24 points into his melee and a handful into his health. Yes, yeah, seven into his health to get him up to uh, 9k health. So Grim is pretty strong. Glad we got him. Hopefully we can get an ice elemental as well, but first we have to imprint on you, so I will bring you peeps back. Alrighty peeps, our ghost dragon is going to be fully grown any second now. Here are the imprinted stats. 25,000 health, 2,000 stamina, 324% damage unfortunately sub 1k weight and with how wait what oh wait it's probably because and then there we go yeah it just didn't update all right oh this is it peeps this is the first time we're going to be using a ghost dragon all right let's oh wow dude the first person camera looks actually really cool okay and oh my wait, wait wait let's see if it has the all the same attacks that an arc wyvern does oh wow okay so that goes from a wing like a wind attack to like an actual kind of smack oh that's great and it hits twice oh that's great range our sprint speed is also really quick let's check out the the uh i guess ghost breath i don't know what to call this Oh, that's really cool. It's got such short range, but I guess also the arc fire breath has short range. But uh, how much damage do we do? Oh, okay. It's got a long cooldown. I still can't use it. All right, well, let's just see what our bite does. 556 bite damage. That's kind of on par with the Mega Rock Dragon, actually. So that's wonderful because our Mega Rock Dragon's hitting really hard. Can I use the breath now? 84 per tick? Are you joking? That's amazing. Okay, let's... Wait, was that a wild ghost dragon or is that my ghost dragon? Are you the one that I unclaimed? You were the one I unclaimed. All right, let's... Uh, uh, What should we do, peeps? I kind of... I don't know. This health is kind of good. 25k? That's a nice number. I don't know if I... Well, maybe... Let's see how much we get. Oh, okay. Well, we actually get a really good amount, but... That's almost perfectly 26,000, and I'm, I'm kind of down for that. So, let's just... I guess maybe focus... The melee from here. I doubt we're going to need even more melee than that. Or uh, health than that. But uh, let's check our fly speed. Um, uh, That's pretty good. It definitely feels quick. And we know from the Quetzal, when we try to chase one, the Ghost Dragon is faster than the Quetzal. So, heck yeah, peeps. Now, we have to keep an eye on our stamina. I want to know how fast the stamina drains on the Ghost Dragon. Because, at least on Normal Arc, the Wyverns drain so fast. But, dude, this is really cool. I love these particle effects. Oh, it's really cool. Oh, can we pick things up? We can! What uh, What is the extent? Can I pick up a Deodon? I, I doubt we can pick up as much as a Quetzal. We can pick up a Deodon, though. All right, speaking of Deodons, peeps, I kind of am thinking about taming one. Because they could be useful for us to use to, you know, when, to heal our creatures in dungeons. That could definitely be a thing. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hang out here for a bit in the Golden Lands. And I'm just going to murder... Hey, ooh, there's a Rex there. Dude, imagine if this was a high-level Rex. No, it doesn't have the glow. Uh, oh, I mean, 82? That's the highest-level Rex I've seen, but uh, it's, it's not... Um, in the tameable range, especially because it's a Golden Land Rex. I feel like it would take us so long to get another Golden Land Rex, but uh, we could definitely kill it for the experience. Let's try and use the Breath Attack here. Not bad. The damage, the uh, burn damage is pretty high. Oh, wow. The damage we're doing is already really good. We can really, oh, the turning radius is horrible though. Oh my gosh. 
All right, how often? Yeah, we really can't use that fire breath often, peeps. All right, well, good news is we could definitely chase it. The damage, like the dam the tick damage is really fast. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that fire breath is actually really nice. Once we get a bunch of levels, I imagine that'll hurt a lot. And it burns for a while, actually. All right, come on, Mr. T-Rex. I, I am actually tempted to try and look for a T-Rex soon, peeps. That could be, oh, dude. If we land a full fire breath attack, that does a lot of damage, actually. All right, come on, Mr. Rex, or I guess Miss Rex. You've got a lot of health, but not enough. Uh, we actually took quite a bit of damage there. Oh, can we heal with normal meat? Okay, thank goodness. All right, good. Healing won't be an issue then. Nine points from that one Rex, by the way. Uh, uh, hey, excuse me, sir. Maybe we should go to 30,000 health. That might be smart. Um, uh, I don't know, peeps. I don't really want to. I guess let's go to 27, and then we can pump the rest into damage. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and power level our Wyvern here for a bit. And I will see you all in a, well, I guess in a bit. <laughs> Alrighty, peeps. I think our Ghost Wyvern has been sufficiently leveled. He's not hitting for as hard as our Quetzal is, but his damage is still up there. Definitely ready to start searching for some high level creatures. Plus these ice elemental dudes drop a lot of experience when we kill them. Also, look how much damage our breath is doing. These poor creatures. And yeah, look at that. That's just, I'm basically getting one or two level points per, oh, high level, you don't have the glow. Dang it. All right, but yeah, we're gonna start searching for some high level creatures, peeps. We're probably gonna stay on the edge here of the dark forest and Arctic so we can either find a high level ice elemental or a high level uh, I guess Ghost Reaper again. Hello, high level, you don't have the glow, so probably not, ah, tragic. At least with the ice elementals, they don't have that purple glow around them already, so it's not gonna be too hard to see if they're a high level or not. Cause you can't really see if a Ghost Reaper is glowing because it just, they, they have that purple aura around them all the time. So we'll be able to immediately tell if any of these ice elementals are high levels or not. All right, and have some breath. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. It's so nice. I, I guess my only real issue with this game is spawning. I feel like it takes so long for some creatures to spawn in, but once they do, they start spawning in for, ooh, is that a high level Spino? <gasps> that is a high level Spino, 102. Should we tame a Spino, peeps? I am thinking we should. I, yes, I want a Spino. Let's go ahead and tame this Spino. Hopefully it has good stats. What's your health actually, Mr. Spino? Where, where are you? Hello? There you are. What is your health? Well, uh, it is 16,000. I don't know why I'm checking the health. I don't know what good health for a Spino is. I think this is the first high level I've seen. So let's hope that we can kind of set up here. Maybe it won't be able to get to us. Uh, potentially it might actually be able to get up here. How many train? Oh, we have 50. Now that should be enough, right? It only has 20,000 something torpor, and that was enough for the Quetzals, so, pew! That actually is probably gonna miss. I forgot, the darts do have a drop, but that should hit. There we go. Oh, he's very sluggish. Do they not sprint in the wild, or is that their sprint speed? If that's their sprint speed, I'm gonna be pretty disappointed, I think, because that is so awfully slow. Please count. Uh, okay, good. I was worried that it'd be able to hit me here. All right, um, I'm just gonna shoot your spine, Mr. Spinosaurus. And uh, it's probably gonna torpor run into the dark forest, but that should be okay, I hope. Oh, is that the torpor run already? Or are you just uh, passive fleeing because you can't hit me? I do not know, peeps. Uh, speaking of hit, that did not hit. Through the trees! Nope, that did not hit either. All right, um, let's go, Ghost Dragon. We have a Spino to catch. Oh, uh, the damage. Oh, oh, no, okay. I have, oh, oh yeah. You just go ahead and chow down on that little meat cube, friend. Are you coming for me now? You are, you are coming for me. Oh no, oh no. Thank goodness you're very slow. Uh, oh, you're not as slow as I think you are though. Oh, you're actually reasonably quick when compared to my character. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is, this is not the goodness peeps. Oh. Okay, we got him. <laughs> oh, Ice Dragon, stay away. Icicle Dragon, or whatever you're called. Uh, we're not walking into anything other dangerous things. Nope, there's a penguin. Penguin, you won't kill me, right? Oh, rest in peace, Icicle Dragon. He was my friend. Oh yeah, go after the Ghost Dragon. Yeah, that works. 
Ah, ah, no, 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 please. I don't feel like taking hits from you. I don't want my armor to break. I feel like you would break my armor. Oh, God. Oh, load the rifle. Load the rifle. Ow, did that hit me? I can't tell if that hit me or not. Oh, are you running? Are you running? I feel like he's running. I feel like that might be the Topol Run, peeps. I was wrong. I'm a liar. I... I am a compulsive liar. Oh God, oh no, please run. Go, go, oh, wait, there's another Spino. Okay, let's not aggro that Spino. Are you finally, uh-oh, uh-oh. No, okay, good, 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 good. Go to bed, how much torpor do you have? Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I don't have enough for this. Stay with us, Ghost Dragon. All right, and I feel like this next one will put it to sleep. All right, boom, that's you asleep. Oh, right on the tip of his tail. I was also super wrong. And how about that? Will that hit? Yes, we got it. All right, how do I make you land? I I need you to land, please. Oh no. Oh, yes. 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 All right, you have to have some prime on you, right? Uh yes, you do. All right, let's go ahead and check the Spino stats. Hopefully it has good stats. Like I said, I have no idea if the health is good or not. Uh, oh, here's a normal ice elemental. Let's go ahead and kill this before it tries to ruin my life. Dang it, there's another ice spirit over there. That's just a normal one. All right, yep, yep, you're rude. You're rude, just hurry up and die. Is this a high level ghost, dude? A level 100, I will also tame that. Okay, okay, this is, this is going great so far. All right, Mr. High-Level Spino, please have good stats. Here is some prime. I didn't grab the prime. Mr. Ghost Dragon, give me the prime. There we go. All right, and where? There it is. All right. Ah, oh, awful health. Oh, never mind. I'm not taming you. You're garbage. Get out of here. You suck. <laughs> what the? Ten points. <laughs> Gar you're, you suck. I'm, I'm, no, just no. No to all of that. All right, let's go ahead and kill this elemental spirit here. Wow, you have some resistances to the breath. That's interesting. There's another one over here. Please, I, w I just want high levels. That's a garbage spino as well. Oh my gosh. Oh, wait, there's a, there's a the elemental spirit that we want over there, but it looks like it's a low level because it doesn't have the glow. Dude, all the things are spawning now. See, this is what I mean, peeps. It takes a while for things to start spawning, but once they do, they're just, there's so many creatures. All right. I am sorry, little child. I'm a oh, over a thousand damage. There's another Spino. All right, we're gonna have to check all these Spinos after this. Actually, no, I think after we get this little elemental tamed, or not elemental, this Ghost Reaper over here tamed, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode because I have things I need to do later today and it is approaching the time to do them. So there you are. Let's kill the Spirit Wolf. There we go. All right, are you following me? Okay, good. And... Yeah, I guess I'll just leave our dragon here, switch on over to the magic darts. Now, I don't know how long this is going to take, actually. We've only ever tamed one of these guys. Ooh, that's a new Spino. Yeah, we've only ever tamed one of these guys with the Ballista, but that didn't take too long. So this shouldn't be awful, I hope. Oh, you are very quick, though. You are a speedy creature. I wish I had a mount that was better for movement on the ground. All right, can I, like, can I outplay you? No, you... Oh! Okay, that's a torpor run. Unfortunately, it's going right for the other Spino. Uh, oh! Very easy! All right, cool. Do we have any dark crystals? I hope we do. And we do. Nice. All right, cool. That's basically this guy tamed up then. Oh, wow. I like how their unconscious animation is just them, like, kind of sitting with their scythe in the ground, I think. So they're, like... It really lends itself to the idea that they're not being rendered unconscious, but they're just being kind of locked down. I, again, I super love that. All right, let's go ahead and kill this Spino because it's making noise. And I will see you... Oh, actually, hold on. We also have to check the stats of this little ghosty boy. All right, yep. Here you go, Spino. Here's some fire. Did the, any of those hit? Yes, they did. All right, yep, yep. You're a level 58. I can't believe that Spino over there sucks. Actually, hold on. That's not fair. We didn't check its weight and stamina. Not that I think stamina really matters on a Spino like it does for flyers, but I don't know, it, ha it might have pretty decent weight, which would be nice. And, ex excuse me, and let's see, weight, 20 into weight, 19 stamina. Ugh, fine, fine, I'll tame it. <laughs> we'll tame it, you should probably instantly tame, right? Yep, there we go. All right, Spino. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You're going right into a pix block. You are a disappointment in most of the stats that matter on you. All right. Well, 
like I said, peeps. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, again, we need to go ahead and check the stats of this guy. Let's go ahead and kill this ice bear over here. Hopefully, this ghost trooper has good stats. If it doesn't, it's not, you know, the worst thing in the world, but I would definitely like for it to have good stats. All right, you have, excuse me, there we go, 19 health again. Ooh, awful damage. But whatever, it's tanky, which I like, especially if we're gonna be using it as an additional companion to our other very good Ghost Reaper. Just having something else to tank hits is definitely worth it. All right. Oh, I just saw him tame up. Alrighty, peeps, Soul Reaper number two obtained. I guess we're kind of giving up on the ice elemental idea, peeps. There's just, we're not getting really lucky with the spawns. I've managed to find two Ghost Reapers. Oh, I mean, to be fair, we haven't, we've only really searched for the Ice Elemental for about half an episode. So I guess, I guess it's not fair to say that we haven't gotten good luck for the Ice Elementals considering we haven't really given them a chance. All right, well, uh, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and head back to base. And I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap this episode up. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the garbage Spino over here. I can't believe you have both bad health and melee. That's so unfortunate. And we'll go ahead and chuck out our other brand new Ghost Reaper next to, I keep calling them Ghost Reapers, but they're Soul Reapers. Yeah. yeah are we sure? Wait, 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 wait. That would be hilarious. No, okay, definitely not. Dang it. All right, peeps. Well, yeah, I guess leave a name suggestion for this Ghost Reaper, Soul Reaper <laughs> as well. Uh, we're probably not going to name this Spino, so don't don't leave name suggestions for the Spino because we're just going to try and maybe find a better Spino in the future. Or maybe I'll go for a Rex. If you peeps know which is the better Apex, let me know. Because I don't think the Spino has its, you know, biped stance to do the slaps in this. So, yeah, the Rex might be the way, peeps. But, yeah, we got a brand new amazing Ghost Dragon. He is hitting extremely hard. Wow, 40 points into the melee already. How much does Grape have? I feel like that's more than Grape. No, oh, that's certainly not more than Grape, but it's already hitting, I think, harder than Grape. So yeah, Ghost Dragon, a massive upgrade, but Grape is still useful for that Ballista and Platform Saddle. If we find a Rex or something, maybe if we find a Rex or a, another Spino in the future, maybe we'll go ahead and use Grape so we can stand on the saddle and shoot down because that was that was not a great experience running for our life from that Spino. But yes, peeps, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.